Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is all about Mad Art Beauty London. I have a load of their products here in front of me. Some I've received in PR, some I've bought for myself, but this is essentially a full face of Mad Art Beauty London products. So uh, yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look and hear my thoughts on some of these products, see how they perform, then just keep on watching. So I've done my brows because I don't have any brow products at the moment. So I'm first going to go in with their new lip plumper, Venom Lip Plumper. Um, I did receive this in PR. Um, some of what I'm going to use I received in PR, some I bought myself. I'll let you know as, I will let you know as we go along. So let's first try this out. So I have particularly dry lips. Ooh. I'm trying to think what it smells. Is it cinnamon? I think it's cinnamon. Well, I can feel it tingling. So it's definitely doing something. Okay, so whilst I don't have an eye primer, I am assured, and I have tried it before, that the concealer, this is their Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer. I have it in the shade, I can't read that, I think it's medium light porcelain, and um, this I bought myself, and today we're using it as eye primer, as well as concealer. So, so yeah, whilst I do receive PR from Madage Beauty, I do also buy products myself from them um their products are really good uh, both the foundation and concealer that i'll be using i bought myself and a few of the other products which we'll go into and as we go through it um but this concealer is such a good concealer it is great for under the eyes anyways we're talking eyes at the moment <laughs> i'm getting ahead of myself so I do have a few single eyeshadows here from Madage Beauty. Um, I'm trying to think, was it all of these I received in PR? Do you know what? I can't remember now. At least most of these I received in PR. Um, so I have the shades. This is Peace. And then this one is Love. This one is Golden Eye. Uh, this one is Sunshine. And then these last four that I'm about to show you are from the recent Halloween collection. And the first one I have is Winifred. I love the names of these. So this is Winifred. Then we have Marie. And this is Marie. These last two I think might be my favourites. Um, we have here, this is Sabrina. It's purple. And then lastly we have Morticia. Which is sparkly black. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, so yeah, we have all of these shades. Now just to decide what it is I want to do. Um, oh, I can't decide. I don't know that. I am going to go with yellow. Okay, so I'm first going to go in with Sunshine and I'm taking that on a Made by Mitchell ME3. And just make sure this is all smoothed down. And I'm just gonna take it through my crease. So this is our transition shade. I am awaiting for Madage Beauty to come out with a what well, an eyeshadow palette that I am looking forward to. So hopefully that's in the pipes. We can only hope. These eyeshadows are really nice. 
Um, I do also have um, some sparkly pigments, um, which you'll see in a bit. Yeah, I do really like these uh, these eyeshadows. I just need to work out how to pop them out of the little pots without smashing them so that I can add them into my singles collection. And I think they definitely would get a lot more use that way. I do feel very fortunate to receive some products in PR from Madage Beauty um, as any of you that are not new will know I do love the products and well you see for yourself how they work so I am now going to go in or am I? Yes, I am. I'm going to go in with Morticia, which is the sparkly black. And I'm taking that on a Peaches and Cream PC22. I'm taking this on the outer part here. So yeah, whilst this looked sparkly, it's actually, I would say probably more of a satin, which works for me. It does have some sparkles in it. So yeah, I'm literally just going on the outer part of my lid, um, taking it more diagonal, kind of, and then just taking it into the crease just a bit. Please excuse Poppy, she can't get comfortable. Um, apparently she's got a whole double bed to herself and she still can't get comfortable I'm just patting over the edges just to kind of blend it out a bit I do want to keep the depth on the outer part of my eyelid Okay, that will do for now. So now I'm going to be going in with Sabrina, which is the purple. I'm going to take that on this Jessup 234 Lux Smoky Shader. And I'm going to be placing that. I've got hair on that. Of all over my lid and then taking it up to blend out the black a little I haven't sprayed the brush or anything this is more of your kind of classic shimmer but looks beautiful now I'm just going to take that over the edges of the black there and then we'll go in with the uh, the yellow to blend out some more I am getting fallout but I am really loading up my brush so uh, it's to be expected Okay, and then back in with the black, I'm just going to be kind of tapping it over the join and then going into the crease. I am definitely liking where this is headed. Okay, and then back in with that brush used for the yellow, and I'm going to take that across the edges. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit. Oh, 
Ooh. I'm liking this. Again, I've just taken just a little bit. It's almost like it's got a yellow halo aura. Okay, I like how that's looking so far. So I'm going to quickly clean up and then we'll carry on. So just stay where you are. Okay, so now we are cleaned up. I'm going to go in with the primer I have. So this is the H2O primer. I did buy this myself and it comes with the pump. So it's, it looks just like a, a moisturiser. Hmm, it feels like an ever so slightly tacky moisturiser. Does that make sense? Like it's leaving, it's leaving something for the uh, foundation to stick to. Yeah, it does feel really, really nice. Hmm. It feels really hydrating. Um, yeah, it's definitely left a slight tack. Well, it's sinking in beautifully. Right, so literal just from putting it on my face, I like this so far, but obviously we have to put everything else on. So I did pick up, this is a full coverage liquid concealer in lilac because I have these kind of almost yellowy bits under my eyes. So I'm just dotting a little, a little bit under each eye. I'm just going to use my finger to kind of spread that along. I think I may have used a bit too much there actually. So to start with I'm going to look really funny. <laughs> um, nothing new there then stuff. So I've tried different things to cover under my eyes but the actual tone of it is yellow so hopefully this will even that even that out brighten it up kind of get rid of that yellow obviously once it's covered with foundational concealer so we'll see how that looks when the rest of the makeup is on i do have the skin perfect photo ready foundation which i have used on my channel so many times and I love it. I have it in the shade medium light porcelain. I haven't got a brush ready. Crikey. What am I doing? Um, right. This foundation actually has, it has pretty good coverage. Um, but at the same time, it looks like skin. It is a really lightweight feeling foundation, but as you can see, obviously with my acne that's flared up at the moment, it has pretty much covered it. But yeah, I think where this is also so lightweight, it doesn't kind of irritate my skin. So it doesn't like irritate the acne. It is going on very nice over top of the primer so i've tried this foundation with um a few primers now and it's just gone beautifully over them all so if anything went wrong i would know it wasn't the foundation but we're looking good so far 
Mandrai's are looking a little odd, but we still have concealer to and get on there. <laughs> Yeah, when it comes to kind of lightweight, really good foundations, I do recommend this a lot. And I did buy this myself. And when I run out, it will be one that I would repurchase. Because I do really, I really enjoy using it. And I don't know how well you can see if I get a bit up close. So obviously my skin has flared up quite quite a bit, um, but it's done a pretty good job of covering covering my acne. Yes, and the concealer I'm going in with is the Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer in medium light porcelain. Also, um. I did also buy this myself, so let's first just go over areas I want to conceal a bit more. Yeah, this foundation and concealer do work really well together, but then that is pretty much to be expected. My lips are still looking quite, quite plump. I don't know. They feel hydrated. I haven't had to uh, put anything else on since I put it on. But yeah, let me know what you think. It does tingle, but it's nothing like the uh, the kind of burny, real burny sensation that the Two Faced one has. Yeah, for such a lightweight foundation and concealer, pretty good coverage there, huh? Alright, let's pop some under the eyes. This one's also really nice for under the eyes. I find that my under eyes get really, really dry these days and this concealer is just so beautiful it sits really nice like on the skin and it doesn't cause any kind of unwanted texture under the eyes so yeah if if this goes wrong then it's the one underneath um but even then i think i may have i may have used a little bit too much we shall see. Yeah, I think that purple one was the right colour to get. Concealer wise. Colour corrector. <gasps> I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, but that has definitely brightened up my under eyes. I am not complaining at that. So I also picked up the hd loose powder um i haven't actually opened this yet oh it's got one of the uh turntable -y things in but there is some already in the lid there so i'm just going to make sure i have patted out my under eyes there it's where it has got where where it where they've got the um, colour corrector underneath um, it's a bit of a thicker layer so let's see how this goes this is super finely milled like super finely milled so I've just literally gone around all of the areas where I would get oily so my t-zone around my mouth there And then I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. It is a Spectrum A01. And just set the rest of my face. Yeah, 
well I am I'm liking how my base is looking let's pop that away it feels super super soft I like that so I'm now going to go in with um, the skin glow bronzer in the shade Arabia um, this I picked up myself um, I like it this is definitely the one for warming up my face and it leaves a really nice kind of with sun-kissed glow I could definitely go a shade deeper easily um, but I do like this this colour also it does look really nice and it is a buildable formula which I think for face products can be a good thing if you are prone to going overboard and you don't want to um, I'm quite prone to going overboard but I like overboard I like that film too overboard Jordy Horn's amazing um, but yeah I do like to go overboard with my makeup also And that's really kind of brought my face to life, back to life, something like that. <laughs> and I only have one blush from Madash Beauty, it is the Skin Kiss blush in the shade Secure Kiss. So I'm wondering actually whether, I wonder... I might actually go in with this eyeshadow is the peace one as much as I want to use the blusher and it's an amazing formula I think that color I think that color is going to go better so in with peace yeah definitely and um, that's the other good thing a lot of the products from Madage Beauty um, are multi-use or multi-purpose um, you can use them for different things as if you've seen oh crikey the live out proud collection I did a video on and I did I essentially drew art on my face with them I had some fun I do love a multi-use product and yeah so does Madage Beauty yeah this color definitely is a better color for this look oh I like that so yeah that was the eyeshadow in the shade piece so I don't have a highlighter as such, but I do have one of these um, skin pigments, eye pigments, I can't think what they're called. I have this one yellow star, which is one, the one, I'm going to use for highlight. So it's just in a little tub and where I've been picking my nails, I can't undo it. So it's just in a tub like this. So I'm just going to tip a tiny bit on the side there. Um, so I'm using a Spectrum B08. that so I'm just going back in with the blusher brush just to make sure that it's kind of melted together I'm never quite sure what, what you'd say to that so that they uh, have joined together harmoniously 
again apologies I don't know what I'm talking about but okay I like that so what are we up to now right under eyes under eyes okay so I'm first going to be going in with Morticia the black and on a Jessup 226 smudger and I just want that literally right up against the lash line and then just taking this little kind of fluff but fluffy brush I'm going into Sabrina the purple and I'm just going to use that just to kind of smudge out the black but also add some colour on the lower lash line there am I doing this so that you can see One day I'll get it right, guys. One day. Ooh, I like how this is looking. Ooh. Okay. I like that. I might add a little bit more purple. Just... Because I just really like it. No other reason. I just fancy a bit more purple. Just using one of these teeny tiny Morphe pencil brushes. I'm just going to dip into that. Um, what I used for a highlighter. I'm just going to take it up and under the brow. So for my inner corner, I'm going to go in with another one of these pigments. This one is in the shade Purple Star. And I just feel like being fancy. And I'm just taking that on a Pract pencil brush, which I believe is Sigma's kind of more affordable range. This is really nice. I am going to have to brighten it up, I think. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of that yellow star and just dot a bit right in the right in the center there. Actually, I'm going to take that a little bit onto my lid. Just kind of brush it on a little bit. Hmm. Brighten up the inner part there. So I don't have a setting spray, so I am going to go over with the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist before I put my liner and lashes on, do my liner and lashes. I love how this looks. So I am first going in with the liquid eyeliner from Madage Beauty. This I received in PR and I love this. I use this quite a lot actually. Looking good. I'm just going to let that dry for a second. 
I think I could do with a little bit more blush. So I'm going to go in with one of the other eyeshadows. This one is in the shade Love. Um, I just think we need a bit more colour up here. Yeah. That looks better. And I'm just going to run the powder brush over it all quickly. Just make sure it's all... Yeah, that's better. Just needed a little bit more colour there. And then the mascara is the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. As if you're not new, you'll know I love this. Uh, the mascara I did receive in PR. But I use it a lot. I'd probably go as far as to say it's my favourite mascara. It even makes my crappy lashes look good. When I say crappy, I mean mine, they are stubby, they are straight, and they are disobedient. Okay, that's the kind way to put it. My lashes are disobedient. But as you can see, I do have lashes. And then for my waterline, I've just grabbed the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Extra Frosting. I just want to brighten up, just brighten up there. Oh, yes, I think that goes nicely, and then just a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line, the lower lash line, on the lower lashes. Okay, so I'm going to nip off and pop on some lashes and lippy and then I'll be back to show you the completed look and let you know my first impressions on the new things I tried. So if you would like to see that and hear that then uh, don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I am back with the finished look. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Excuse my phone going off. I have no idea what's going on. Um, the lipstick, I actually went in with two. So I went in with both of these. They're both from Madage Beauty. I did receive them both in PR. They are the Lip Envy Satin Lipstick in the shade Mirage and the Lip Envy Liquid Lipstick in Nocturne. Um, so I kind of dabbed Nocturne around the edges and then went over with, I've forgotten the name already, Mirage. Um, I love their liquid lipsticks. They are amazing. Um, the lashes I went in with are from Makeup by Lisa, another UK indie brand that I love to support. These lashes are in the style Raven. I love them. They are amazing. Um, did I put anything else on? I don't think I did. So let's go through some thoughts, shall we? Um, I don't know if this over time is going to plump my lips. I did feel a tingling. They looked, I say plump and more hydrated. So I have, I have hope for this one. Um, I love the smell of it. And yeah, it's not real burny. It's just tingly. And I like that. Um, where are we at now? So... These two eyeshadows obviously are new to me. I say obviously, it's not obvious, is it? Um, but both Sabrina and Morticia that I used in my eye look today, I love them. Um, I 
never even asked to say they perform beautifully um the same as madage beauty's other eyeshadows um so yes i love them now into other products face products um so the h2o primer um it felt really hydrating it had a slight tack but i think it did like dry down a bit more um but it left a nice even surface for the foundation and the foundation went on beautifully so i have hopes for this um so far i would say yes i really like it um the what's it called full coverage is it full coverage yes full coverage um liquid concealer i'm going mad here um in the shade lilac this really brightened up my under eyes um so i know that purple cancels out the yellow um and for some reason it's kind of a, a deep yellow that i get under my eyes um but yeah i'm i'm loving this so far um the powder this is the last of the new to me products new products um they're pretty new well this is anyway um this is the uh, hd loose powder it's no color one and it is super finely milled uh, which is just how i like it um i haven't found that it's clung to any dry patches um so far so good um but yeah i do love madage beauty's products um as you'll know if you're not new um and yeah whilst i do receive some in pr i also buy some myself because it's amazing stuff so with all that said um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below um have you tried any of these products are you thinking about picking up any of these products i know i'm super excited to see what their christmas launch is um but yeah let me know let me know what you guys think i think my mouth gets ahead of my brain sometimes um so yeah let me know what you guys think and i hope you've enjoyed this i've had a great time filming as always and i'm pretty happy with my look so i am going to leave it there and if you're new if you've liked what you've seen if you love colorful makeup if you like supporting indie brands if you maybe want to discover some indie brands that maybe you hadn't heard of before then yeah go ahead and subscribe it would be great to have you on board um, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this today i hope you're all having a good day a good evening wherever you are whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye